today's walk starts in Kongsbury, which is up the A370 from where I live, south of Bristol. And I'm following the Two Rivers Way, which is a 20 mile long distance path. Only following it into Rington though, probably two, two and a half miles. <clears throat> I used to live in Rington until April last year. This is one of the few times I've been back here walking. And if I have any regrets about leaving the area, it's leaving this behind. This is probably my last walk of June this year. It's only going to be about 10 miles long. Following the River Yeo into Rington, then I go up into the woods and then back across down into Kongsbury. The Two Rivers Way finishes at Canesham and the other end, that's out towards Bath. And the first half of the walk follows the River Yeo, then the halfway points around Chew Valley Lake, and then you follow the River Chew quite closely out to Canesham. I might one day attempt to do the whole thing in one day. I've done it in day walks, like a series of circular walks, but I might do the whole thing at some point and film it for you. So my return route goes through the woods up there in this direction, back down towards Kongsbury. And on this side, we have the Mendip Hills. It's over there. It's forecast to rain this morning, but it's just sort of catching up with me right now. So I'm going to put the microphone away and put on the waterproof cover for my camera. Uh, it's been quite nice and refreshing though. Last night as well was really cool. I'm not really a big fan of heat waves and hot weather walking. It helps to keep the tourists away as well, because it's been so busy everywhere recently. All the beaches are around packed, the hills are getting busy, the car parks are full. There's litter everywhere. Well, the last was about five minutes. I think that's it for now. Got my jacket on, waterproof cover on the back of the back. Uh, cover on my phone and camera. But well, I think it's going to pass. That's the way it goes, isn't it? My legs already soaked. But, um, yeah. It doesn't matter, it's not a cold day. This field normally is really boggy and rutted and hard to pass, especially in the wetter months, but today it's really firm. It's like they've done something here to improve it. Maybe the work they've done here to create this little area and they've cut down the hedges that used to fall on the river here. That was done last year. It's normally a right nightmare walking through here. I normally avoid it, but it feels really firm. And there are no cattle present either, which probably helps.
now heading up Old Hill. Many of my evening walks went up this way. It's nice being back here, though I do miss it all still. Right away runs all the way into Broccoli Coombe. I'm not going that far. I'm going to turn off to the left fairly soon into Goblin Coombe. I wouldn't normally come in this way, but a young family just took the path they wanted to go down, and and with social distancing being a thing right now, I thought I'd give them some space and let them carry on but it's normally very wet and muddy on these paths in the winter if you can hear gunshots I believe it's clay pigeon shooting it's quite common up here taking a wrong turn somewhere because the paintball area is right there and I can't be walking through there even if they're closed today so it must have I don't know I'm not sure where I went wrong so the paintball area is back that way I came up through here which is fine this way here is closed off so I'm not sure where else I could have gone it's not a public right of way just a path for walkers maybe it's just a one way go there go back again sort of thing i'm not sure about chancing it across the paintball area because i'd be risking going on private land so i head back this way and go down the way the, the young family went be a good test for my barefoot running shoes which are not waterproof but very comfortable Shoes on the Merrill Bear Access XTR. I've worn them for all my recent walks since I bought them in May. I bought them for running in the evenings, but they're really, really comfortable. They're my favourite thing now for wearing this time of year when it's normally dry. I'm wondering about what to wear on a long distance trail. So, that, but the only downside is that they get they get wet very easily, and apart from that, they're really comfortable. 
lightweight. They've got a, a near zero drop and lots of toe room like all bare shoes, barefoot shoes have. And we're now entering Goblin Coombe along the valley floor. I know the woods here very well because I've grown up nearby. So that's where it came out, the other path. And I've rejoined it here, going towards the cliff top viewpoint. This is not good to see. People making fires and leaving a mess. Shame about the fires there and the mess left behind, but it's a big issue right now. I'm not sure how we can deal with it really. Now heading up through Kingswood, and from the path above here, I'll rejoin the Riverside route in Kongsbury and get back to my car. So, so thank you for watching the video in case I don't speak to you again today. I'll see you again soon with a new video. Take care and stay safe. Thanks again.